any um, current political issues that are really interesting you or inspiring you at the moment? Well, I kind of, I mean, I don't know, I tend to, I think I, I speak for all of us when we say that if we get up there and we start to preach or if I offer solutions or, you know, I put a lot of work into my lyrics and stuff, but I don't want to become the thing that I'm fighting. So if I get up there and tell people how to live or what to think, then I'm doing exactly the same thing as the people that I'm, I'm criticizing. So, you know, basically find whatever you find in it. And I, I mean, I put the messages in there. You read them how you want. That's, that's where I'm leaving it. So, um, what's New Project's creative process like? How do you go about putting a new track together or developing an idea into some music? I don't know, in the, in the past it's sort of become, it started out very computer based as in sort of one of us would write a track and then give it to everyone else and we'd try to jam on it a bit and then if people had modifications they'd kind of, you know, contribute their bit, say I think this would be better here or that there. Um, it's become a lot more collaborative recently, like actual creation of all of us in, in the studio together. Um, it, it's just become something that we've been able to do recently and it's, it's a positive step forward because it, it, you know, it really strengthened our songs. The strongest stuff we've got is, is stuff that everyone's had a say in, not stuff that just one person's put together. So it's kind of changing. I think there's big things on the horizon in terms of writing. This one's Voice in the Machine. scenes are probably a little smaller but they're quite hardcore we had a really good time over there especially France it was awesome Belgium was a little weird because um, we, we kind of got caught in a riot <laughs> on the way to the gig saw a guy get hit with some bricks and things which wasn't fun but but the gig itself was really cool <laughs> we ran for our lives and we got to the venue and it was all good after that <laughs> but yeah it was cool it was a good good experience so your EP came out on the 18th of September you had a launch party at the Purple Turtle in Camden. How did the fans and the audience receive the new material? 
I think it, I think it went down really well actually. I think um, I think a, a few of the tracks have sort of been floating around a few of the sets we've done recently. But I think um, the actual gig itself was fantastic. We we played most of the EP at that gig and it went down really well. I think I think the, the general vibe was was a positive one, which is good. So we went bottled off stage. That's a good. That's always a good sign. <laughs> Boys and girls, we've come to the end of Fright Club. I've had an amazing time, there's been great music, great cabaret. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again next time. Good night.